what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Former NBA player Amari Stoudemire, who retired in 2016 and currently plays in the Israeli Basketball Premier League and Euro Cup, is being sued by a Miami woman who claims he is the father of her child. That wouldn't be such a big issue if Stoudemire wasn't already married with four kids. Stoudemire has reportedly been paying off the side chick for months to keep her quiet, but she recently blew the lid off the secret because she wants more money. Quinn Lovett, 36, wants a Broward County family court judge to affirm Stoudemire's paternity of her one-year-old daughter, Zoe Renee, and she wants permanent child support as well as full custody. Of course she wants full custody because without full custody, she can't get the permanent child support. Stoudemire claims that the lawsuit is frivolous. The woman says that Stoudemire hasn't been a part of little Zoe's life and he hasn't chipped in to help pay the $11,000 in maternity bills. Stoudemire busts back and says, hey, I've given this woman $22,500 in addition to voluntary child support of $4,333 every single month. Now, court records show that the woman said that she is not looking for a job and that last year she only earned $2,983 before she got into the relationship with Stoudemire. So she go from $2,983 in income for an entire year. She meets Stoudemire and all of a sudden she's getting $4,333 every single month. That's not including some of the other perks that she get by just being Amari Stoudemire's side chick. She probably get booked for parties and stuff. Her Instagram page is probably jumping now. But it trips me out because everybody's saying she's an Instagram model, but like real Instagram chicks like that's really on their game, they getting money, man. They getting like serious money. 2000 $983. She must, be, her, her Instagram must be filtered to only like her hood. Like she getting Instagram hood money or something just on her block or something because that don't add up. And to be honest, she fair looking. I mean, she ain't no wreck my home type looking chick. I mean, I ain't no chick that, but I'm just saying, like, she ain't got it like that. Apparently she do with Stoudemire. It's hard for me to feel anything for Stoudemire, though, because these dudes, they should know by now. They should know about the hustle by now. Women, pardon my French and excuse my vernacular, I love you to death. And if the shoe fit, wear it. If it don't, toss it out the window. But child support is a broke bitch hustle. And it's a whole lot of them out there, man. They don't give a damn about the dude. They don't give a damn about the child. They just trying to get some money. They trying to get a come up. Now, I do respect the fact that there are women out there who are like, hey, I'm getting mine. I'm taking care of business. You know, I'm, I'm, my kid going to be all right with or without you. I respect the hell out of that. But I also respect the fact that when a woman is 
trying her ass off and, you know, she, she can't do it by herself. She just can't do it by herself. And if she don't file for child support, she may not get anything. This is a fact because some dudes out there, they all file like that. They will create babies. They will breed and not look back, not give a damn about the collateral damage. Don't give a damn about their child becoming collateral damage. They won't do nothing. They won't buy sneakers. They won't buy school supplies. They won't buy any type of clothes. They won't help with tuition. They won't pay for them to go on a simple little trip out of town. They won't pay for pampers, milk. They won't do shit. So some of these women are forced to file because if they didn't, they would get nothing. It is the ones who are like this chick that really make other women look bad. Because she filed. How you going to be the side chick and get paid? How you going to be a side chick and take hush money and then want to try to expose your baby dad? That's foul. That's foul, man. She get a big old L for that. I, I can't respect that. Just as I can't respect somebody like Stoudemire being in a position that he's in and allowing himself to get out there like that. That's foul. I mean, where, what happened to condoms, man? What happened? Y'all, leave your comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all think about this chick, man. Let me know, if, if, is, is she right by filing uh, child support on Stoudemire and trying to get more money? She also says that she, in court papers, she said that she's not looking for a job. She don't want to work. She just wants to stay home and take care of her kid. <laughs> On a personal level, I think that he should have just killed her. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with y'all. <laughs> don't kill nobody. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. But I do think that Mothers or fathers who receive child support should only receive enough to cover necessities and maybe a little allowance. That's it. That's it. A human being should not be allowed to come up off of another human's being work. Get your own. That's what we preach. Get your own. Stand on your own marriage instead of trying to hustle somebody else's grind. I think that Stoudemire should ask for full custody. Don't even give her custody because she's not even qualified to raise kids. She can't, how, how, she, without Stoudemire, she has no life. She can't support the kid without Stoudemire. What can she give the child? Nothing. So she's not even qualified. So if I was him and these other men, who end up with these women that are out there hustling for child support. I would file for full custody. That'll put an end to that. Because if they can't have the baby, if they can't get the money, then oftentimes they don't even want to deal with the baby. I think it's just wrong for any parent, male or female, to receive 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month in child support. Man, that's ridiculous. That further illustrates how corrupt the system really is. It lets you know it's really not about the children. It's about the hustle. A lot of these athletes, they've been getting suckered. Rappers in line now, they, they lining up around the corner getting suckered. But Coming up, back in the gap, these females 
certain females would subscribe to Sports Illustrated and they'd read it so that they could figure out who's next in line to get the big contracts. And they find out some kind of way to end up at that social gathering or that party that that new athlete is at. Next thing you know, you just met this beautiful girl and she's clicking and she understands you and seems like she just gets you like that, man. Like she, she, she has instincts. She knows exactly what you like. Fool, that's because she's been reading them damn articles where you've been getting those interviews and you telling her, telling the world what you like, what your interests are, who you bees with. <laughs> So a lot of those guys got juked like that. And I don't really understand what the rapper's excuses are, but a lot of them, they out there sucking up bad, man. They straight suckers. I mean, they, they, man, they booing up thoughts left and right. It's ridiculous. But all I got to do is tell you, man, is be careful. Be, be very careful, man. Have some self-respect. If you don't respect yourself, man, respect the woman that you're with. Respect your, respect your family. I don't know why dudes who are in relationships decide to step out and raw dog a thought. I don't know why any dude would raw dog a thought, period. But to be in a relationship and raw dog a thought, that's really bad. My advice, don't roar dog thoughts. Better yet, don't have sexual relations outside of your relationship. Now some of y'all hear that and you say, man, that's hard to do. A man gonna be a man. I could tell you from experience. It's not as difficult to do as you may think when you truly love the woman you're with. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order of protection.